Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about my new Farmville application. It's a clicker. It clicks for you on the Facebook application Farmville. Of course this is another compilation for codecall.net and let me show you how this works. For those of you who use Farmville and they have to do things themselves, like they have to plot each one by one, you know how that can get a little boring, takes the fun out of the application. So that's our job, that's where we come, developers, to make your life a lot easier. And my following creation is the you can make a software that clicks for you. I already have this land plot so I'm going to choose something to plant in. I'm going to go for strawberries because that's the cheapest thing because I'm in a testing phase. I'm going to jump to my .NET application. I'm just going to skip the coding for now and show you how this thing works then we're gonna go technical for the programmers or people who are interested how these things work so I'm gonna run my application of course my application is still in testing phase it has a lot of bugs but I felt it's time to launch it so I'm gonna go for a planting uh, 12 by 11 land and I'm gonna press execute the program automatically hides itself and sits down in the taskbar uh, of course you have you have to be zoomed out to full extent and you have to put your cursor on the most left part from where you want to start and you click once then you click spacebar and it starts planting for you of course this is speedy I can make it a little more speedy but this is just for showing you how this works maybe in the next release I'll give you a little control on how this works and maybe you can speed it up or speed it down and in case uh, the process is going and you don't want it you want it to stop you don't want it to continue you can hit escape at any time and the process will automatically stop so here's the application I'm gonna provide the links in a sidebar for those of you who are interested in uh, using this for developers I'm gonna pass the source code also and for non-developers I'm just gonna post uh, the exe of the file and you can download it and use it directly you just need .NET Framework 3.5 I'm just gonna add that to in a sidebar so let's go technical how does this work in my form I got four text boxes one is the how much it needs to move in the x axis another one how much it needs to move in the y axis and a calculation which is final x and final y so how does my application work my application writes the coordinates that I just mentioned the x axis and the y axis in a little file in a little text file called memory.txt it writes those coordinates to the file and once you press execute the process starts uh, just to kill the myths that I've seen around the internet that they had to put 120 timers and write 2500 lines of code and how much is this complicated I had this done in 150 lines of code as you're seeing and it's pretty forward 
159 with the li white lines that I had to skip so to make the code look neat. Uh, so it's basically simple. I'm trying to explain that as far as speedy as possible because if I'm gonna have to type it out, it's gonna take a lot of time. Anyways, on the form, I have the variable definitions around here. And it's basically simple so you can take a look at that if you're a programmer on the form load it gets the values from the text file and it loads them into the text boxes then when you click the button it activates the timer which is timer 1 that I have on the form right, right there and the timer is basically well 100 uh, milliseconds and when it ticks and on each tick before going to the timer I'm going to talk about the uh, when you press the button it saves the values the new values to the text file and it, it executes the timer the timer then tries scanning and it's waiting for you to hit spacebar which is HN20 and H20 uh, if you hit spacebar, it starts the following process right there. If you hit escape, which is H and H1B, then it stops the process and everything stops. Basically, the opacity of the form turns again to normal because when you click execute, the opacity of the form turns to zero and it's hidden. Uh, once you hit a space bar, then uh, the process starts taking each point to the left, starts adding on with to the point X, it has a temporary file which adds on to it, takes the position left or right depending on the coordinates you enter. It's uh, basically a little math ma mathematics around here, which is pretty simple f if you're a programmer you can take a look at that the whole idea with uh, how did I take the hits uh, that were clicked by the user it's we're using the library get a synchronous state uh, which is right here uh, this one scans what kind of keystrokes you're striking uh, if there is escape or spacebar or whatever you want this is how I gave it the parameter so it would execute the process. I have a little blog about get asynchronous state. I'm gonna add it also in the sidebar. And you can check that out. Well, basically, and uh, that's it. Basically, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Please subscribe to the channel, and thank you.